Now to fallout on the force in Westland. Alleged bad behavior is leaving two people out of a job tonight. Just weeks after the resignation of former police chief Jeff Jedrusik over decades old videos, a police officer and a sergeant are now out of a job with one of them currently facing criminal charges. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has more about what we're learning about those firings. It was just about a month ago when Westland Police Chief Jeff Jedrusik resigned after we reported on some controversial old videos he was a part of making. Now an officer and a sergeant have been terminated in unrelated situations. I want you to go take that rock over there and I want you to move it on the other side and then you can go home. It was after these old videos surfaced that the city of Westland mutually agreed to end their contract with the now former chief. Fast forward a few weeks and the Westland Police Department has lost two more members. Police Police officer Sean Davidson and a sergeant, two veterans terminated for what they allegedly did while off duty. We're looking for officers, but they got to be able to be upstanding and do their job correctly. This is a picture of officer Sean Davidson from a few years ago with Westland's then mayor and police chief. His recent firing is tied to allegations that late last month he and a buddy were under the influence of alcohol at this bar in Wyandotte when Davidson refused to leave. The friend is accused of taking Davidson's gun and pointing it at his head. Sean Davidson and his friend were both charged with carrying a concealed firearm under the influence. Davidson also charged with trespassing, his friend charged with reckless use of a firearm. They got to, you know, uh, be accountable for what they do just like anybody else, you know, and uh, you can't uh, go out there acting like a fool and especially when you're in the eye of the public, you know, as a police officer. Then there's the veteran sergeant who was just terminated, stemming from an incident on opening day in Detroit. The allegations include he was drunk and belligerent at one of Detroit's casinos. Action News is not naming the sergeant because he has not been charged with a crime. Today, responding to Action News about the firings, new police chief Kyle Dolly said both incidents were thoroughly investigated by a Westland police command officer and it revealed several department violations. Chief Dolly said after he thoroughly reviewed the findings, he terminated them both. You got to watch what you do no matter who you are. You know what I mean? You got to go by the rules. Davidson was given a personal bond and reportedly placed on an alcohol tether. He's due back in court next week. In Westland, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Okay, Kim. Thank